Well, hello everybody. Kind of a disappointing morning for me here as the bear, and uh, figured I'd show you why. I woke up this morning after a beautiful lightning and rainstorm last night. Let's come outside and take a look at my greenhouse. Yeah. Walk around the corner, and that's what I see. <sighs> I've been happily busy researching for the last few days about Michael Reynolds and his whole Earthship building. So you haven't seen much from the greenhouse. I guess this does give us a unique view opportunity. As you can see the rosemary's gotten quite tall. From this angle the sage patch looks just lovely. This gives you a whole different view on that Malabar spinach jungle that's going on in there too. I guess today we're going to take a look at an emergency rebuild of a cheap polytunnel greenhouse. So here's where it sits right now. Just thought I'd show you a few of the things that I'm doing a little bit differently during this rebuild. I had some issues with my wooden corners, so I just got a pool noodle, cut a little chunk off of it there, cut it in half. Now this next bit of plastic isn't going to be stressed by that anywhere near as much, so that's good. Another issue I was having is these ribs are really quite weak. So I just got some larger size fittings and I'm gonna put those across at uh, probably either the halfway point or I'm gonna do it right at that corner there. Provide a little extra stability during the snow. Haven't quite decided yet. Something else I'm doing, apparently I forgot to put in these strut supports last time. So I grabbed a couple chunks of two by four to prevent these from Digging into the ground again, you can see just how far into the soil that pipe had gotten. And that one's no different. Alright. So I'm going to keep getting her done. And hopefully, before it starts to rain, I'll be able to put a clip on here of a completed greenhouse. I guess this will be the fourth. It is a really nice view of the garden this way though. So here's where we're at just this moment. Notice I've started to put some of the cross bracing in. That's not where it's going to stay, but let me talk to you first about a couple of things I'm doing differently here so I can get to actually doing them and then show you how that looks. But one thing I'm doing is right here, I took some three quarter inch fittings and slipped it over my half inch pipe so that I could create a cross brace. And that's going to go all the way and connect all four of these ribs. That's just gonna make it a little bit sturdier in the snow, I was a little worried last year. And that's gonna help with the side shifting that's going on, we'll talk about that in a minute. Something else I'm gonna do is I've got all this dead space here because I grow on shelves and in my aquaponic bed, which is like three feet off the ground. And it's been uh, growing quite a healthy collection of weeds and other useless plants which hasn't really been a problem, but it turned out it was a problem. All of the plastic at the bottom here was really, really weak from all of those plants pushing up against it. So I'm gonna throw down a layer of newspaper, cardboard, any kind of unnecessary recyclable paper I can find. And when the time comes to uh, move the greenhouse, I can just pull that up or tell the landlord it's the beginning of a no-till garden system. I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. Now because this is the wrong size pipe, it currently moves pretty freely on here. But what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take some duct tape and I'm going to layer it up around here just to tighten that up and then I'll cinch that into place. Got a rubber mallet so it shouldn't be too difficult and that should keep it nice and strong. Especially when added to a couple other things I'm going to do to support the wood structure of the greenhouse. Which has stood up surprisingly well, but needs help. So here we are now. Got that paper down, got some, I don't know if you can see it through there, bits of pool noodle that I've shoved in to kind of protect the plastic from the corners of the wood there. Got those in all the endangered bits. And I figured since I've got this unique opportunity, take the time to do a little redneck insulating, duct tape some styrofoam around the fish tank, try and keep a little bit more of my heat that way few other winterizing things I might just do while I've got these usually unavailable angles to work from. Just 
quick update then while my tea steeps and back to it. So now I've come to a point where I've got to skin this by myself. So what I've done is since I've got an entire roll of plastic, it turned out that for another two, three dollars more I could get three times as much. So I figured better safe than sorry. Since I've got a roll, I took a nice long piece of three quarter inch pipe, shoved it through, balanced it on the chairs, and I'm just gonna try and drag it over the greenhouse. Figured I'd bring you along to watch. Let's see how that works out. All in all though, that worked surprisingly well. I got really lucky with this plastic. Not only did I save a bundle on it, and it's nice and thick, it's only a single fold. So I'll just be able to unfold this and start attaching it. So I'm looking at it here now that I've got it spread out. It turns out this plastic is, oh, six inches to a foot too skinny. And that's my own fault, because I didn't allow for overhang. Guess it's time to get creative. Because I need to put a skin on this. Storm clouds are coming back in. I don't know how long those are going to hold off for me, but so far I'm really thankful that they have. So a quick update on where we're at here while my tea is steeping again. Instead of going all the way from one side and over to the other, I've been forced to put my skin on in three distinct panels here you can see better from this side so start with the bottom so that the top overlaps and we'll run over the bottom sheet out onto the draining cloth gonna have to secure that better still too but moving onward all right so here we are I've almost got the complete skin on the greenhouse again getting that third piece on top was interesting but here I'll show you how I'm sealing the ends here. Taking the duct tape and kind of just bringing it tight down. Like so and making a fold so that the water, you know, rolls off the top and doesn't get caught in anything. Then I'll take a piece of duct tape, put it on there, staple gun, cut off my scrap. And I've been ending up with some fairly clean edges. I still so need to rebuild this greenhouse, but at any rate, that seems to be working. A little bit of folding, a little bit of cutting, a few staples. But let's look inside now. So you can see those extra supports have worked out really well. I'm going to be much more comfortable when the snows come. One thing I kind of realized was an added bonus. The last plastic that we put up here started to break right away where the black lettering was on there and this is more of a light gray so yay but that's okay I've got grand plans for a rebuild that's going to involve a complete teardown and that should be a very interesting greenhouse did I mention I've been looking at earth ships lately <laughs> well that's the emergency rebuild of the zero to no budget hoop house, greenhouse that is my aquaponic experiment home. Well, thanks for watching everybody. I'll keep you posted when uh, I get a decent windstorm, let you know if my rebuild survived the weather and uh, otherwise everything should be just fine. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day.